2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. That's a look at our setting tonight. The picturesque city of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Greetings, everyone. Welcome to 2K Sports and another exciting edition of NBA Basketball. This is Kevin Harlan courtside with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our reporter tonight on the sideline, David Aldridge. Looking now at some numbers for Giannis Antetokounmpo. There's been a drop-off in the rebounding numbers. He seems to be getting out-muscled on the glass in a way we didn't see earlier in the season. His last 10 games, the totals have taken a huge hit. Now let's send it down to David Aldridge, standing by from the sidelines. David? Hey, Kevin. Jeru Holiday is in his eighth season with the Pelicans. He said, I've been here the longest with the possible exception of the security guard. There was a ball boy who was here before me, but now he's one of our coaches. Kevin, he's still all in and trying to help the Big Easy get back to the playoffs. Terrific. David, thanks. Deep benches tonight, Greg, on both sides. This seems to be a growing trend. You know, teams are digging deeper than ever before, even getting into the two-way contracts that give you depth past your top 15 guys. One, you're trying to protect the investment in your big ticket items, your franchise caliber players, but you got to keep an eye on the future in terms of player development. That's a, another area where the league has really changed when you look at the makeup of these rosters. Well said. Here's the starting group for the Indiana Pacers. They've got Karis LeVert. He's out there at Malcolm Brogdon. And it's Sabonis in at the five. And for Milwaukee, Middleton and Giannis are the forward tandem. Holiday out there with Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Lopez in at the five down low. Hey, and you know, really, Antetokounmpo can look to score every time, and sometimes that's necessary, but he's also good at recognizing when one of his teammates has a clean look. Now, here's Levert. Good work there as it goes. And I'll bet that's what they talked about before the game, getting the ball inside early. Here's Giannis. Spiked it away. And they're moving it up. And he jams it with authority. Levert's athleticism on full display as he makes great effort in the fast break. Outside, out of the Kumbo. Time to get open is DiVincenzo. And the jump by Giannis. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Boy, picture perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. And it's all about the release when you shoot the floor. It's out of the combo on the wing. A putback. It's good on the putback. Well, I think this is the start they wanted. Come out and put some points up early. Three or four so far. Pass to Levert. Sabonis with the ball. The pass to Brogdon. Six to shoot. Floats one. Big Brook Lopez gobbling up space and getting the block on that play. DiVincenzo gets to Middleton. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. You know, you're going to have success when you can start out shooting 80% from the game. So early offensively, they've been great. That's the way you like to start. Now here's Levert. Six points for him. Here's Brissett. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. Exactly. The defense determined not to allow the easy layup right there. They'll settle for making him earn the free throws. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. He hits both from the strike. 
Lorenzo Holiday will bring it up for Milwaukee. They come in fresh off a win against the Heat. And guys, they, they walked into the arena with a certain kind of swagger, and we really saw it play out on the offensive end. And you know, confidence is key there. They seem to play with a ton of it, especially on the offensive end. Sumner's shot is off. The Bucks have gotten four of six field goal attempts to drop in the first quarter. Middles in the pass to DiVincenzo. Shoots the three. No good that time. So the Pacers will take it the other way. Last time they met was in Indiana. And their last time playing this club, foul trouble became a big problem for them. Their starters had to take an early stint on the bench. They've just got to be more careful tonight. It's that simple. I mean, those guys are too valuable. They need them on the floor. And a fast break now for the Pacers. Indiana again missing. Milwaukee's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. And they double up Giannis from downtown. Here's Holiday. Count it. His second make in four attempts. Oh, a nifty finisher. You didn't think Holiday would back down inside, did you? Sabonis kicks to Levert. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. And at four or five now, a nice start. I mean, he looks ready to make an impact offensively. So far, so good. And, guys, Karis LeVert can do so much while he's on the basketball floor. The problem for LeVert is just staying on the basketball floor. Yeah, injuries have really slowed him down the last couple of years, Greg. And it's unfortunate because this kid's an outstanding player. He gets it done in every way as a wing scorer. He can make plays. He can defend. He can score the ball. LeVert says he tries to model his game after Penny Hardaway. And if he can stay healthy... I don't think that comparison's too far off. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. Yeah, I like the way they're setting the tone. Really playing with a lot of energy here at the start. Now, here's Adetokounmpo, and the bank shot is good. Giannis has got six points. They are just killing him on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. you got to play with some physicality in the paint. Sabonis and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It goes on Giannis Antetokounmpo. Can't afford to be too handsy with Sabonis. He's very good at forcing the issue and getting these calls. The Pacers have gone two for two in the game at the line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. Well, late in the season, we're seeing playoff teams resting their star players. Any excuse for lottery teams, Greg, doing the same? <laughs> Not as far as the league is concerned. I mean, if they're right, healthy, exactly. what's the goal? I mean, throwing away games is, is not acceptable. No. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Milwaukee. And Sabonis drops them both. DeMontis Sabonis, so versatile, brings so much to his position. He scores, he passes, rebounds, and defends at a high level. Trying to get open is Lopez. The shot by Holiday, no good. Indiana trailing here. Levert the pass to Brogdon. Nick Dermott with it. Passes it to Levert. Here's Brissett, guarded by Tucker. Releases. They get the rebound. Sabonis. And slam dunk by Sabonis. Oh, I love the aggressive nature with which Sabonis offensive rebounds. He hustles. He's got great energy. But he's also pretty skilled. And you saw all of that right there. Taking matters into his own hand. Yeah, we didn't expect to see that kind of finish. And you know, guys, when your point guard is making explosive plays at the rim, I really do think it sets the tone for the rest of the team. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Those are free points you're giving away. He's got to work harder on the glass. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. Different look from Milwaukee. 
Portis. He's checked in for Lopez. Pat Connaughton comes in for Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Bryn Forbes in for Drew Holiday. Boy, Tucker ever unselfish in how he goes about his game. Nice job finding his teammate there. Holiday, the pass to Sabonis. Outside Holiday. The shot, no good. Great D that time from Portis. The shot by Middleton, wide open. Sinks the triple. Now it's a five-point Bucks lead. And it's McConnell with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Pacers. The kick out to Holiday. Pass to Holiday. It's over Tucker. The shot by Holiday, no good. You know, the right thing there to try to fade away with the D all over him, but that is a difficult shot to sink. Here is Forbes, guarded by Holiday. Middleton right side over McConnell. And there's the foul. It's on Bobby Portis. That's his first foul. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. And they're determined to add to the lead, not with more offense, but with big time D. Pacers trail by five. McConnell passes to Sabonis. Back to McConnell. That falls. Nice feed that time from Sabonis. Nice feed, just like his dad. Sabonis is an excellent passing big man. The passing gene was passed on. And it's good for two. One of the things you've got to admire and respect about him is his aggressiveness at the offensive end, always in attack mode. Defense! 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 Holiday against Middleton. Defense! Holiday, the pass to McDermott. Defense! 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 Now, here's McConnell. He's tightly guarded. Two open that time. Made it look too easy. And, you know, he's going to take that shot every time. The defense has to respect him from the mid-range. Here's Tucker. He's still scoreless so far in this one. No one covered. And the Bucks lead by six. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Well, when you look at the assist totals, heck, They've been clearly the better team. Now, here's McConnell. His last outing, he had eight points. And it's the Bucks on the break. Middleton leading the charge. Here's Connaughton. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they shot the basketball. Very high percentage so far. And if you want to start a game hot, that's the way to do it. Now here is Holiday, and looking at his production, he averages a little more than seven points a game. The hard way there, guys. Sabonis, a tough player, does not shy away from contact. Holiday against Middleton. The Trey. The Pacers pull it in. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing the last matchup with the Lakers. Yeah, I mean, they had their chances, competed deep into that game, but had a few lulls there that just kind of took them down. And, you know, those are the kind of games that sting and that bad taste lingers. Sure Knowing too. you were in it, but not coming through down the stretch, those are hard to get over sometimes. First free throw is good. Miami's checked in for T.J. McConnell. Free throws good from Holiday. Bucks leading by four. Forbes the pass to Portis. Sabonis with the block. Outstanding defensive instincts by Sabonis. Really good timing when to rise up to reject shots. No good from Lamb. You know, you don't always get that opportunity, so those are the ones you hate to miss. Shots good by Middleton. Now off to a strong start here early. Six points off second-chance buckets. 
outside Holiday. Pass to Sabonis. Outside Lamb. Just five on the clock. Kept alive by Indiana. Tries again. The shot misses. Yeah, he just flat out tricked that one, missed it, and has no one to blame but himself. And Forbes kicks it to Tucker. For three, Middleton. Chris Middleton has been on display for Milwaukee. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with them. We've got more in store for you right after this. We recently caught up with Drew Holiday, who talked about some trying times. Being able to go through adversity and come out stronger. Um, I think that there was a lot of pressure put on our team um, from outside, and to be able to withstand that, to be able to still go out there and play every day. And Greg, you feel like that pressure never really got to Holiday. Uh, one of the toughest guards in the league, mentally and physically. He's a machine that just keeps on coming, no matter the circumstances. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Bucks. Well, I like the fact they've already been getting a lot of high-quality shots in the paint. And also like the attack off the bounce. I mean, they're taking the initiative here in terms of getting into the lane and forcing the defense to collapse. Middleton and Giannis are the forward tandem. Then there's Bobby Portis, and it's Forbes in at the point. That's the five on the floor for the Bucks. And there are the Bucks with another bucket. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. And we heard Shaquille O'Neal bestow his Superman nickname on Giannis Antetokounmpo, and rightfully so. The Greek freak, the most dominant paint scorer since Shaq himself. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. And the pass to Portis. Middleton for three. No good. And it's the Pacers taking it the other way. And watching Antetokounmpo get to the rim, can G.A. take your breath away? <laughs> Man, he can go around you, through you, or literally jump right over you. Call him the free Superman, what have you. But none of it feels like an exaggeration. I, I love his shot selection today. He set the bar for the rest of the team. Passes to Sumner. Back to Holiday. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Holiday's got himself on the board with three there. Not a bunch of energy from the defense, which is why he was free to knock that down. Middleton for three. Rebounded by Lamb. This shot's just, it's not there right now. With this team leading, perhaps, you know, let's focus on some other areas of the game. Here's Sumner. Boom, he chains it straight down. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G.A., the pick working to full effect before the stuff. And, you know, not enough help from the defense there to compensate. He gets a clean look, and that's exactly how you draw it up. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Around the free agent race last year, for your money, Greg, who would you have rather take? Kawhi and PG, Kevin Durant and Kyrie. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> I, I tell you what, it's, it's a I tough just, call. You know, that is, that is. got a couple finals MVPs. KD's got a couple. Kyrie's got a ring. I, it, it's a tough call. I mean, mm. PG is more than capable, man. I, I think it's a I think it's a toss-up, partner. I agree. Yep, I'm gonna agree. Here's what Milwaukee's going with right now. Brooke Lopez is checked in for Bobby Portis. Dante DiVincenzo comes in for Chris Middleton. And it's holiday in for Brent Forbes. Now, here's Sabonis. Eight points for him. I love how Sabonis focuses in and maintains that concentration. Very good at taking on the aggressive defense. Here's DiVincenzo. Leading by five. Here's Connaughton. Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. The shot by Holiday, no good. Boy, he knows he should have knocked that one down, especially with the defense not giving much of an effort. 
pass to Sumner. Let's it go from deep. Kumbo grabs the miss. Giannis has got four rebounds in this game. No good from Connaughton. And guys, not sure where his head was on that shot. Not what this offense was designed to create. Not at all. I mean, that's where they want him looking for a teammate, not trying to do it on his own. He needs to share the wealth there. Now, here's DiVincenzo after Malcolm Brogdon's miss. DiVincenzo against the bonus. DiVincenzo can't hit it. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. Pass to Brissette. Here's Levert. Over Holiday. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway. So a three-point play chance for him. You know, guys, with good size and length for his position, Levert can convert tough baskets. And he'll be shooting his first free throw of the game here. And the free throw drops for Levert. You know, Karis Levert had a few surgeries before entering the NBA, but took kind of a unique step in writing an open letter to NBA GMs telling them physically he'd be ready for the league. And you know what? He was right. And he's had an excellent performance overall from the field. Levert the pass to Brogdon. Holiday against Levert. Lopez with the block. And they get it back. A nice shot by Levert. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling now. Now the pass to Anadokounmpo. Fades away. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. Giannis has got 18 points. Yeah, and he's starting to show that killer instinct this quarter, looking to extend the lead. So the Pacers call timeout their first of the game. You have to like what we're seeing from Giannis under the Kumbo. And he has absolutely worn them out in the paint. They, they need to come up with a plan to limit his touches in the interior. And looking now at some numbers for Sabonis. He's been on a tear since the All-Star break going really to another level. Fourth in rebounding, seventh in assists, and he's in the top 20 in steals, bringing that focus and intensity at both ends. And he's so explosive, so hungry. You really can't keep him off the glass when he wants to get there. That's why he's top five in rebounding. Whoops, there's the 24-second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. And here's Giannis. He'll bring it up for Milwaukee. They've led by as much as 10. There's the lob. And Takumbo throws down the alley oop slam. How about the springs of this guy, Anta Takumbo, also known as the Creek Freak? I mean, he just gets up off the ground like a rocket on these alley oop chances. The shot by Brogdon, no good. Milwaukee leading by six. Here's DiVincenzo. Banked in off the glass. DiVincenzo's got his first basket. You gotta love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. And you know you're gonna get those buckets, guys, when you're quick to get out on the break. Get that ball up the court as fast as you can. A nice shot by Levert. And he is really in a zone right now, playing and scoring with confidence. Outside Holiday. Passes it to DiVincenzo. And the dunk by Giannis. And he's got it going now. When he's in this kind of a zone, I think the D's happy to just get out of Anthony Takumpo's way. Now McConnell. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. Rodden kicks to McConnell. Takes a three. Got a piece of it. And it's the Bucks on the break. 
Here's DiVincenzo. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. The importance of the three-point shot never greater than right now. And in your eyes, there are some players who are just absolutely dead, solid, perfect from distance. No doubt about it. And, and you know, there's three guys to me, though, that kind of separate themselves. Uh, and it's one because you have to honor their ability equally off the dribble from three and at attacking the paint. Steph Curry, James Harden, and Damian Lillard. Those three guys can all hit pull-ups and step backs from range off the dribble. Uh, they all got great vision, you know, so they can take advantage of defenses that get caught loading a little too much. And then they also are terrific at the, in the paint at getting to the free throw line. So those are the three guys I think that create the most havoc uh, when you start, start talking about having to guard the three-point line some tough offensive sets they want to turn it around yeah right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum McConnell with it and Holiday picks him up defensively Brogdon inside the line and the rebound goes to Lopez Lopez has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight taken away by Holiday in his first bucket of the game he's one for two now how about how he sets his man up there runs him right into the screen and then gets the basket count that one even Genzo's got the lead back up to 10 now for the Bucks. and of the last six baskets five have come on the interior this is just smash mouth physical basketball guys now here's Sabonis he's got 10 Here's Brogdon, the rebound by the Bucks. Andre DeCumbo's got five rebounds tonight. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. Timeout called the Pacers. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. And, you know, I think he's going to tell them simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now. Chris Middleton's checked in for the Bucks. The Pacers also changing it up. McDermott's checked in for Sabonis. And Jeremy Lamb subbed in for Malcolm Brogdon. Here's Brissett, and it's blocked. A rare rejection that time from Tucker, using that long reach, though, and times it perfectly. Holiday dishes to Giannis. Middleton left side. And another basket for Milwaukee. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Pass to Lamb. Holiday with the three. Hits the three-point bomb. Holiday's got seven points in the game. Sometimes trailing in the game, players get sucked into trying to make that home run play. Yeah, trying to get it all back in a hurry. And you're right on that. But these threes they're taking have not helped. They're trying to catch fire. And they've yet to find the match. Here's McConnell. Honors on Kumbo making his last shot. Outside, Lamb. Pass to Holiday. And Lamb kicks to McConnell. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. Now we have a moment to look at how the blocks have been stacking up over the past several months for Giannis Antetokounmpo. We're just not seeing that same fierceness out of him defensively these last few months. He's lost a little bit of that intimidation factor. He's not blocking as many shots, and he's not making the same impact on that end of the court. I tell you, that's why Ante Tukumpo is so feared Lee White. I mean, when he's close to the rim, he's most likely going to flush it on. McConnell passes to Lamb. Puts it up. Good. And McConnell gets the assist. There's 38 seconds left in the first half. On the wing, DiVincenzo. Guarded by Holiday. Takes it down to Middleton. Lock at six. Over Lamb. Shots good by Middleton. 
And he's got 13. Yeah, they've gone away from the triple as they look to protect this lead. Yeah, you know, sometimes that can be a mistake. But they weren't shooting it especially well early on, so um, I think it makes sense to shy away from the triple. And so it's Milwaukee finding a 15-point lead at the end of the quarter. They've excelled in the open court. Their transition game has allowed them to build this healthy lead. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thanks. Here with Mike Budenholzer. Your defense has been very good. Why has that happened? Well, you know, I think our guys are committed on that end. Uh, everybody's active. Everybody's covering for each other. And we know how important it is. Mike, we'll see if it continues in the next quarter. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. All right, thank you, David. And folks, don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everybody. This home crowd is elated about what they've seen so far. I'm Ernie Johnson. That's Shaquille O'Neal. That's Kenny Smith. A tremendous game we're seeing from Giannis Antetokounmpo. He ended up with 28 points, six rebounds, and two assists. And a little redemption for him tonight. In their previous game, he was not at his best. Kenny, your thoughts on the Bucks' first half? Well, we're seeing Giannis in attack mode. He's playing with real tenacity and making every shot count. It's a relentless siege, and the other team is struggling to recover from it. How about you, Shaq? What did you think about Indiana? Well, the big issue to address, Ernie, is their rebound. They got low energy, low effort on the glass. Well, let's take all day with a whole different attitude. The final score could look like Kenny. U-G-L-Y. He ain't got no alibi. He's ugly. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final. Horn. Oh, buzzer. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. You look at Enda Dekumbo, and this game has been everywhere. Man, he's been running wild on them through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. And you know what? I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank. That first half had to take a lot out of him. And with the second half upon us, We'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Third quarter action getting rolling right now. Brought to you by Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Here's who's on the floor. On the court right now for the Pacers. Karis LeVert is out there with Malcolm Brogdon. Then it's Sabonis. And it's Brissett in at the four-man position. And one thing I like about Brogdon is his size. A huge 6'10 wingspan for guard. Gives him an advantage in matchups. Let's him finish over smaller defenders as well. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. Oh, and with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Well, I think he did plenty of damage nonetheless. I mean, it was only with one hand, but he still threw that down pretty hard. And great with Brogdon and his size, it allows flexibility on defense as well. Yeah, I mean, it makes switching on the pick and roll easier with him at the top. There isn't a lot of flash to how Brogdon plays on the floor, but you can't deny how impactful he is in all facets. A tremendous mobile one block that we had to see again. Great send back. And those are plays that get you in front and keep you in front. Now here's Middleton. He gets that one. Middleton's got 15. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. Yeah, it's really been quite a contrast. I like the way they're attacking the middle at their offensive end. It's Brogdon on the wing, guarded by Holiday. Here's LaVert. Even Genzo with the rebound. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. Middleton's got four points now in the quarter. On a nice little roll here to start this half, connecting on their first three attempts. Here's Brogdon. 
And the Pacers can't get it to go. And another miss. Ooh. He's having a really ugly game. Yeah, about as ugly as you can have, you're right. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. This is the kind of unselfishness you love seeing from Brock and making sure he gets it to the open man. Holiday against Brogdon. And when the score is as lopsided as it is, and you can see they smell blood in the water, that man is going for the juggler. Well, he only plays one way, and that's a full throttle all day, all the time, cold-blooded and lethal. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. You know what? That's a confidence shaker for him, though. I mean, that's a shot he expects to make every time. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. And you know that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks, guys, don't last minutes. They last days. They're going to have to come up with a better matchup. This guy just too much speed. Sabonis so feeling it out a bit. Fires the three. The shot by Brogdon, no good. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. Here's Levert after Drew Holiday's score. There's the pass to Brissette. Now Brogdon. Indiana needs to get a shot off. Brissette's shot is good. Brissette's got seven points. That's a nice play, getting the separation he needs for a clean look. And you look at him, he's given up an awful lot of size in that matchup, so he needs to have the ability to create separation. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. And you know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. Now, here's LaVert. 17 points in the game. Boy, Karis LaVert has done a nice job elevating his playmaking ability, which helps him and his team. To the inside, E. Vincenzo. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. Eight points for him. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. And I say, hey, if it keeps working, go to it. Stay with it. I mean, until the defense responds and provides more resistance, keep making them pay. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Boy, that's a testament to the strength of Sabonis. Fantastic at fighting through whatever the defense throws at him. And a moment here to take a look at some hustle stats for the Bucks. You know, block shots, guys, a clear indicator on the stat sheet of their excellent defense. I mean, leaving them no room to get off any shots. And how about the work they're doing also on the offensive glass? Creating those extra opportunities has been critical. Milwaukee leading by 18. This is it to Portis. Now here is Holiday. Back to Forbes. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Forbes has got his second bucket of the game to go. As a spot-up shooter, guys, Forbes is right there amongst the best in the league, and his movement is what separates him from many. When he gets those chances, he'll convert. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And what a season he's had at the foul line thus far. 86% from the line. You know, one thing about getting going at the free throw line like he has this season, it can continue to carry over. And he knocks down the first one. Well, no question, Brogdon is a standout shooter. I mean, he's efficient and plays both ends of the floor. But you look at his shooting numbers. He's one of just a few players to have achieved a 50 40 90 season. PJ Tucker, he's checked in for Lopez. Brogdon hits them both. And so it's Milwaukee with it. 22 is their biggest lead. Holiday against Brogdon. Holiday gets the bucket. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on. Timeout called the Pacers. Some 
numbers for Holiday. His last 10 games, averaging nine points per game, four assists, and two rebounds. And really for him, it's about putting in the work and improving his game. Yeah, and I think he wants to. It's one of those things where you either want it or you don't, and he does. Brogdon finds McDermott. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Doug McDermott, a solid teammate because he embraces whatever his team asks of him, and he's a consistent perimeter threat. The Pacers haven't made a mistake at the line yet. Ten of ten. And the first one drops. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. Yeah, they're making the most of their opportunities at the stripe, and they'll need to keep it up to take the lead. The Pacers making a change here. Holiday's checked in. And McDermott drops them both. Milwaukee leading by 19 points. Holiday, the pass to Portis. Outside Holiday. Double team on Holiday. Bucks passing it around. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. That's just unselfish basketball by Tucker, making the extra pass to set up his teammate. Pass to Brogdon. Got a piece of it, taken away by Holiday. And Holiday throws it down. And Holiday's nimbleness gets him to the hoop on that one. His athletic ability is off the charts. Holiday looking over the floor. Rodgen finds Holiday. Five to shoot. That's tipped. Brogdon with it, and Holiday picks him up defensively. The second chance effort launches a three. Milwaukee with the rebound. Holiday's got four rebounds in this game. And a wide open look for Portis. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Holiday's got his seventh assist in the game. Brogdon outside. Outside Holiday. Indiana again missing all the time in the world to get that one off back to holiday good again he's on tonight nine for 13 shooting offensively defensively they are in total control and don't leave out the coaching no, no, staff no. here now I mean their game plan has been perfect and that corner three a cornerstone of P.J. Tucker's game. Takes and makes them as much as anybody in the league. And Greg, how about this little fact, Joy? Back at the University of Texas, he only shot four triples in three seasons. Floor spacing was not a part of his game. It was about getting that thing in the paint. But to his credit, and it's an example for all young players, through hard work, that short corner has become his bread and butter shot. Talk about a total transformation from no threes to being a dead eye corner three shooter. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. And I think this timeout, guys, is where you draw up some plays that are guaranteed to create some high percentage shots. The Pacers making a switch here. McConnell's checked in. As we close in on the start of the playoffs, let's see how the East is stacking up. Look at Milwaukee. Right now, they're locked into third place in the conference, looking to get a high seed for the playoffs. And, of course, there's the Pacers. They're five spots away. And seeing where Indiana is, they're one of those teams that hasn't quite figured it out this year. A lot of talent, a lot of heart, but nothing to put them up on that next level. You know, it's really hard to figure out exactly what's been missing, but there is something missing. It perhaps could be the system they're playing in. They get it back. Holiday missed inside. I, I still can't believe that one didn't fall inside and there's a bonus that's good on the assist by McConnell 
Sabonis has got 17 now. Boy, he's doing everything he can at this point. The rest of his teammates need to step up and give him some help. Savvy play from Holiday. Quick thinking helps him get the ball to the wide open man. Now, here's McConnell. Pass to Sabonis. McDermott, no one around him. And the call will be against Sabonis. That's his first foul. Indiana making some changes. Joga Bitadze's checked in for Sabonis. And Jeremy Lamb subbed in for Justin Holiday. Milwaukee's gotten the three ball working for them in the second half. They've hit three out of three shots from long range. To the middle, here's Connington. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's going to be on Jeremy Lamb. The Bucs shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. And, and on the season, you know, they're hitting about 76%, which is a decent rate. You know, I know that's an aspect Shoot they've two. been trying to address as a team. I mean, they've got to get those free throw numbers up and improve. And he makes the first. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. And so it's McConnell with it. He'll bring it up for Indiana. The pass to be Tadze. Kicks to Lamb. Right on the bucket. You know, wanting to develop his interior game, Jeremy Lamb, shots like this will help him be more assertive in that area. Down low, here's Forbes, takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. And after really leaning on that three-point shot in the first half, seeming like they're uh, just getting away from it here in the second. More of the shots coming from the interior. Wow, what a pass there. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. The Bucks making a switch here. Middleton's checked in. Milwaukee's gotten the three ball working for them in the second half. They've hit three out of three shots from long range. To the paint. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And G.A. Chris Middleton over his career much improved on the defensive end. A, a true two-way player. I tell you, that 6'11 wingspan helps. Able to use that length to bother Shoot shots two. and disrupt passes. And the first one at the line is good. Middleton is most known, quite honestly, for his scoring ability. He's a sniper from outside that you can't afford to lose contact with. Middleton hits them both. 121 left to play in the third. Middleton against Lamb. Great D that time for Middleton. And the shots just continue to say no in terms of falling. How about the court vision of Middleton? Just so good at finding the open man. McConnell kicks to Lamb. Has to be Johnson. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's on Bobby Portis. And this will be his second and third shots of the line here. At the line for two. Shoot. First one falls for him. A different look for Milwaukee. Antetokounmpo comes in for Portis. And it's Dante DiVincenzo in for Drew Holiday. The Pacers also changing it up. Brissett's checked in, and it's Lavert in for Aaron Holiday. Good on both. No 
Milwaukee has gotten the three ball working for them in the second half. They've hit three out of three shots from long range. Here's Middleton, and the layup falls. Middleton's got eight points here in this quarter. It's really easy to admire and respect the explosiveness of Middleton. I mean, if you give this guy a lane to the basket, he'll take full advantage of it right away. Now, here's Lavert. 17 points in the game. Just five to shoot. Here's McConnell. Rebounded by the Bucks. And here is DiVincenzo. Eight points for him. Here's Forbes. And there are the Bucks with another bucket. And this is how you want to come out of the half. Prolific and efficient. Boy, I like the disposition and attitude since halftime. They're patiently looking for good shots. And so it's Milwaukee out there all by themselves with a 32-point lead to end the quarter. Their defense has been terrific in this game. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. And so Giannis will bring it up for the Bucks. We've got T. Under Takumbo out there with Under Takumbo. And it's Forbes in at the shooting guard position. That's the group for Milwaukee right now. And the shot goes in. Excellent body control that time from T to feel the contact but still be able to keep himself in position to score. Bitadze, the pass to McConnell. Some nice passing here by Indiana. No good from Lamb. The Bucks shooting the lights out in this building, 68% from the field. That one falls. Ante DeCumbo's got his first points of the game. And, and that's the kind of lead pass we've come to expect from him. Pass to Sampson. Now the dish to Lamb. Six on the shot clock. He kicks it to Sampson. Martin, the pass to McConnell. Ejected by Teague. Some great timing that time from Teague, who was able to climb the ladder and get the shot block. Don't see that much from him, but pretty good work there. And the Bucks making a change here. And it's Milwaukee's ball here in the fourth quarter. Their defense has been very strong, allowing no baskets. That shot, no good. And it's the Pacers taking it the other way. And he lobs it up toward the rim, up high to stuff the alley-oop. And he pulls off the Houdini to bake that catch and slam it through. Stupendous alley-oop. And the crowd they got their jaws dropped on that one. Total disbelief. And he has just been in a flow offensively. Terrific game. He has been the X Factor. Giannis Antetokounmpo has said he doesn't want people calling him the MVP because he doesn't want to relax. He said he fears failure, so he has got to get better. Well, Greg, there's been some debate. What do you think? Is Giannis the best player right now in the world? I tell you what, if there's a conversation, he has to be in it. You know, some people might go with Kawhi, Kevin Durant. He's coming back. LeBron James is there as well. But Giannis is probably the guy to lead that conversation. There's Bitonze. And that one goes long. Bucks have gone three or four in field goal attempts since getting things started here in the fourth. Ante Takubo can't get it to go. And, and guys, not sure where his head was on that shot. Not what this offense was designed to create. Not at all. I mean, that's where they want him looking for a teammate, not trying to do it on his own. He needs to share the wealth there. Here's Lamb. That three off the mark. And there have been some terrible shot choices here, Kev. That's not a good look at all. Lamb against out of the Kumbo. Over Martin. Milwaukee, no good that time either. The Pacers have gone one of five from the field here in the fourth. A lot of misses, just the one mate. And he gets it to go. You know, this is an area Lamb must continue to improve. His passing. And when he passes it like this, it helps out a lot. Here's Teague. 
uses the glass to finish the layup. Now how about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. McConnell passes to Lamb. Here's Sampson. Back to Lamb. Over Giannis. No good from Lamb. Yeah, but the hand in the face. It's critical that you contest his shots every time down the floor. Terrific awareness from the savvy point guard. Jeff Teague is excellent at getting the ball to the open man. Here's Sampson. Lamb with the ball. Here's Bitadze. He gets it in there. Excellent activity and timing on the offensive glass. That's how you get extra possessions. And Teague, here we go. And he comes up with the deuce. And there's no slowing down Jeff Teague on the drive. An expert at getting his shot past tight defense. Outside, Lamb. Lamb missing again. No doubt the fight's there. They are trying to battle back. He's just really struggling this quarter. Not surprised at all. He's shooting it well and scoring points in bunches. To the inside, Itadze, good. And McConnell gets the assist. Itadze's got nine points here in the second half. To the middle. And again, it's Milwaukee converting. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the paint. That's not the kind of streak you want to be part of defensively. Tighten it up, fellas. Here's Teague. Here's Giannis. Count it. Giannis has got 41. And so it's McConnell with it. He'll bring it up for the Pacers. Bitadze, the pass to Lamb. Takes the 13-footer. Warag grabs the board. Boy, this is um, bad. Tough to watch. I mean, this is really bad. He's stone cold this court. Man, clearly a foul. Yeah, he took a shot there. Earned those free throws. At the line for your box. Number 15. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. And they're drawing more whistles and working their way to the line here in the second half. And, and guys, I think it's exactly the right thing to do with the lead. Keep going at defenders and find a way to get yourself to the line. And the Bucks making a change here. Portis has checked in. The Pacers also with a sub. Holiday's checked in. And so he hits both. Indiana's gone ice cold from three-point land. 0-4 since the start of the final quarter. Here's Bitadze. It's rebounded by Portis. Portis has got his fourth rebound in this one. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's his first personal foul. Shooting for Milwaukee. Number 15. Two shots. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Pace are shooting a pedestrian 36% in the fourth quarter. The offense not doing their best work of late. Pass to McConnell. Portis brings the double team. Puts up a three. Warhide grabs the board. The Bucks shooting the ball with incredible accuracy. 68% so far. Here we go with Holiday running it up the court. Sampson's shot, good. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yep, exactly. And if there's any opportunity for early offense, you've got to push it and push it every time. 
Teague surveying the D. Lays it up off the glass. Teague's got eight points in the quarter. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. And the Bucks with possession. Stolen. Now the Pacers moving it up. Here's Sampson. Wara grabs the board. Wara's got his fourth rebound with that last one. Oh, oh the power on that Gruden! Oh, let's go home. That was just <laughs> ridiculous. I do not remember the last time I saw a dunk like that in a game. And guys, it's going to be a long time before we see another one just like that. Good, solid execution inside. That's exactly the look you want. From 13, another shot. Mora, that's good. Mora's got his first points in this one. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. And there's the pass to T. Court is trying to free himself. Teague can't hit. The Pacers shooting 40% from the field. Now here is Holiday. He's covered closely. Outside Martin. Passes it to McConnell. Down to five on the shot clock. Over Teague. A shot by McConnell. No good. Outside Teague. Pass to Portis. Covered by Martin. Back to Portis. Sinks that one from the post. Portis has got nine points now in just the second half. I, I love the ball movement there. He put that on a silver platter. Just served him up. This guy is a high flyer. I mean, especially for a power forward, and he needs to be as an undersized player. Outside Teague to the right side. Here's Norrell. And it's tonight. Outside Martin. Teague on the double team. Now here is Holiday. He's guarded closely. That's his fourth person. Shooting for Indiana, Justin Holiday. Two shots. That free throw good from Holiday. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Porters. Aaron Holiday is checked in for the Pacers. Both free throws good from Holiday. 144 left in the fourth quarter. Outside Teague. Dishes to Antetokounmpo. And Tucker kicks to Teague. From deep. The Pacers pull it in. And as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout. Big time dominance. And, and this will go in the record books as a gouty win for the Bucks. You don't see this kind of a blowout often. But tonight, this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, this kind of punishment. They definitely never changed the approach. They just kept after it and showed they were clearly the better team in just about every single category. And on the year now, tonight's impending victory will push their win total to 47. And in this era of great parity, boy, it takes a lot to sweep an opponent in four straight games. But that's exactly how they finished off their season series here tonight against the Pacers. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Giannis. Now, he was a problem on the glass today, relentlessly crashing the boards and came away with a bushel basket full of rebounds. Not nearly as productive a trip to the line as he'd have liked. 
They need all their free throws to go down at this point. Pass to Tucker. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. And to Takumbo. And it's blocked. Outside Holiday. And Lamb with the basket on the assist by Holiday. And that's why you don't let him get positioned deep in the post. Exactly. I mean, once he's got the ball in that area, the battle's already lost. Outside T. To end the drought. You can't get that one. Good work defensively by Martin. Now here's Lamb. Defense right on him. No good there. And so it's the Bucks taking care of business in this one. It was a tale of two teams tonight. One that was in total control, operating flawlessly, and the other just searching for answers that they could never find. I mean, the energy here is just so tremendous. Fans involved from the get-go, and once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see that rhythm and flow from their perspective. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Giannis, a big lead going into the break, and you never let up. What did Coach say at halftime? Coach at the half, he told us to keep having fun, keep playing together, play hard, try to rebound the ball because it's our job to uh, run it down. Well, you followed his instructions to the tee and got that big win, man. Congratulations. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.